might be a little difficult to see, but right around the center of the screen, under the water, is a larva of a California giant salamander. It's just a little guy. This is a first year larva. But yeah, and these guys metamorphose and age for some number of years. They become the largest terrestrial salamander species in the world. They are very much restricted to streams for the most part. That's where they breed, that's where the larvae mature. They like fairly clean running water. All right, hopefully this is a better angle with the glare. I just saw another one too, but um, it wasn't in as good of a place to show you guys. Really cool to see these. Go now. He's gonna go that way, I guess. Go to your board. So, here I am in Santa Cruz County. Trying to take a look at this uh, introduced, likely introduced, sidewatch lizard. Um, they may range into this area naturally, but there's been um, rumors that were seemingly confirmed by somebody um, that they were getting released here too. Here's perhaps a better view of one of these little side blotch lizards. Really pretty. They look very similar um, superficially to the western fence lizards that are more common in this area. Um, but you can see that they have kind of smoother scales, smaller scales. They aren't as keeled um, like the western fence lizard, which is in the genus Coloparis, which are also known as the spiny lizards because of their uh, pokey keeled scales. And these guys also have a little bit more um, vibrant coloration. <laughs> All right, today in San Benito County, I've got a nice California striped racer here. This is a juvenile. You can see it's a lot smaller than the ones I showed in uh, one of my previous videos. These guys are so fast, but sometimes if they think that you haven't seen them yet, you can kind of get up close and nab them real, real quick. Um, they can be kind of bitey, but as you can see, once you've held them for a little bit, they tend to settle down fairly quickly. What a gorgeous little snake. I love the... Uh, kind of red t color under the tail. It's beautiful. That was a cool little find. I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Look at that. So cool. Yeah. So here's a nice little common garter snake, or yeah, <laughs> a valley garter snake found in this dried up pond. So I'm back in Santa Clara County now, and um, I kind of wanted to talk about the garter snake that I found. Um, so if I sounded a little unsure of uh, what to call it, it's because I was in an intergrade zone where the two subspecies, the California red-sided garter snake and the valley garter snake, um, their ranges overlap a bit because they are the same species. Um, just different variations, basically. Um, 
and it had more valley garter snake features um, and there are some populations in that general area that are known to have a lot of blue like that one had um, and they're really interesting it was a really gorgeous snake um, sorry I didn't talk about it that much I was with a uh, reserve manager um, when I caught it and uh, I always feel kind of awkward narrating video in front of other people so I kept it short um, but I'll put in a picture or two that I took of the snake um, so you can get a nice good look at it this cool little false tarantula this is the tarantula migrating season um, but this is not that species, I don't think. Looks like a false tarantula to me. Pretty cool though. They're really pretty. Put my hand here for scale. Big spider, but not huge. Not, not like the true tarantulas. What a nice red on this guy. Here's a European mantis, Mantis religiosa. They were introduced um, to North America um, for pest control mostly. Um, not the best idea. They've kind of uh, outcompeted a lot of natives, but um, they're still kind of cool to see. You can tell by that dark spot at the base of the forearm that this is a European mantis. We haven't seen one of these guys in my videos for a while. This is a Santa Cruz aquatic garter snake. I suppose I've seen uh, shown some aquatic garter snakes from the Diablo range recently. But we're back in Santa Cruz County. They're nice and green. Really pretty snake. Okay, that's more like what I wanted. <laughs> so, it actually recently rained here in the Bay Area. It's been a long time since we've gotten any decent rains. Um, and it was quite a storm. Pretty well soaked the ground um, across most of the Bay. Um, and so, I'm just out walking around, hoping that uh, the mix of mild temperatures and some moisture uh, would have gotten some snakes to start moving, and that seems to have been the case. Very cool. It's still kind of cool, so this guy was kind of sluggishly moving along the trail. It's a pretty snake. This guy was going that way. That's where he's going to head. Fun to see. Here's a cool little forest scorpion. Um, I don't normally pick them up and I don't suggest that people do, uh, but I was just about to flip this rock back over and I didn't want to squish him. Um, these ones aren't terribly toxic, so it's not usually a huge worry. Um, but you know, you can always have uh, a different reaction to a venom so it's best to practice caution but I've dealt with uh, arachnids before and uh, I feel okay about moving them when I need to but uh, if you aren't then you should use a leaf or something like that to move them out of the way that right there is a mostly patternless northern alligator lizard so interesting to me that uh, the ones in this area seem to have a high propensity for being patternless. Pretty cool. And number two for the day. This is quite a feisty one. Actually, tried to bite me a bunch of times. Um, again, I wouldn't have picked it up, but it was like zooming off the trail, so I wanted to make sure I could show you guys. It's kind of settled down now. You can see that nice green color underneath on the ventral scales. 
Really pretty snakes. This is a subadult. Got it, so you can view the snake a little better. They're really pretty snakes, honestly. That dark background with the kind of banana yellow stripe down the back. Stunning animal. All right, I'm gonna just let him go the way he was going. Got a couple of nice southern alligator lizards here. You can really see the cool color variation these guys have. That one's a little mad. But yeah, nice red one. And then a kind of more coppery gold individual. Pretty cool. Sorry. Not focusing very well on there. Nice though. Isn't that pretty? You can go back under their board. 